day 51 and I'm just preparing for um, my second workshop uh, already and uh, can't wait and I just um, you know wanted to to talk today about the fact that um, I've been in such a different uh, realm lately especially these last few days that I was preparing in my new creative role you know having designed this new workshop and and today I also have my safe to be me one of the Q&A sessions so I've been in such a creative kind of container where mm, I'm in my own world of ideas of, of thinking how to take people on a journey into this information, what what meditation to propose, what visual tool to propose, what somatic exercise to propose. You know, I've been in such a different world. And at some point, I um, today my husband was working from home as well, and I and we had lunch together. And at some point after our lunch, I was uh, sitting in his in the space where he is just chatting and he always has television on like a low grade background noise the opposite of what i like right i i need my silence i mean really i need silence i need silence now more than i ever did especially when i'm like in this focused uh, concentrated uh, thinking and i wasn't even paying attention to what um was on television. I think it was some kind of a news channel, maybe CNN. But just my whole body was revolting, but revolting against the nonsense, the the barrage of unneeded, you know, fear mongering information that is just like over and over and over. I mean, it's been many years that I haven't. Um, I haven't watched, you know, official sort of channels for, for news. I get my news from very heavily curated sources and I'm extremely, extremely protective about the information that I allow in. Um, and, um, and actually I even go through periods where I cannot consume any information, even the one that aids my own healing because there are, you know, sometimes I go through these periods where I just need to listen to my own inner voice and really process and really connect to that inner um, wisdom and that inner, you know, that sort of receiving the information that, that I need to con get next. So after, you know, many years of not, of not um, listening to news, to, to sort of be there in the middle of the day with that nonsense, just such terrible nonsense stuff so so polluting so abusing almost like so unneeded it's just such noise such terrible noise so you know it's it's interesting that as we detox you know it's i don't know if any of you have ever been like on a fast or on a, any kind of a detox where to introduce back the regular food, like for example, detox, you know, food wise, to introduce back regular food doesn't feel good. Like it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it, it's, it feels like there is a rejection until it becomes a habit again. So I kind of had the same reaction today with these news. It was terrible. I mean, oh my God, I, it, you know, we don't realize to what extent our habitual behavior and things that we consume, um, it's like a sugar rush, you know? It's like when I stopped going, you know, doing major shopping a few years ago, when I went from a major shopper to no nothing at all, it was like a detox as well. Now when I go shopping, if I buy like more than one thing, it almost feels like a sugar rush. Like I get, it, there's almost like a panic inside where it's just too much for my system. So um, so it's interesting, you know, it's interesting to observe these things and it's interesting for us to 
notice and witness what creatures of habit we are. And just because we've been doing something in the past doesn't mean we, we have to continue it. And especially, you know, it, it goes with everything. It goes with things we consume, things we eat, things we buy, things we listen to, even the things we say. Like, I can no longer participate in gossip, you know, about other people. I just cannot. I, I it, it makes me feel, it's like, it's like that news channel. It just, it makes me feel icky and, and um, not clean, you know? Um, and it's just interesting how when we purge the toxins from past uh, habits, um, not everything, right? Not everything from our past life is, is bad. It's just that, you know, what do we, what do we dedicate our attention to? What do we, where do we put our focus? Where do we, um, what are we spending our life on, you know? Like so many people say, oh, I just don't have the time to invest right now, or I just don't, have... it's like, we have plenty of time and we have plenty of other resources if we only understand you know what our priorities are and where we actually want to um, put our energies so just wanted to share this today um i'm feeling excited yes i was a little bit more nervous before my workshop today i'm really excited because it was such a beautiful experience yesterday and of course no day is the same as the last one so today something can be everything can feel completely differently but um, anyway just wanted to show up here before I'm too tired after my back-to-back -back sessions and I'll see you tomorrow